here it's talking about being equitable vis-a-vis -a, -vis a number of women. And the moral refrain here is saying, well, if in fact the relationship involves dealing with a number of women, so in the context of m m most clearly polygamy, obviously, if the moral command is al-adl, is to treat them justly. But Allah comes and tells us, you are not going to be able to achieve that justice. But the moral refrain here is also quite scary because it says, فَلَا تَمِيلُوا كُلَّ الْمَيْلِ فَتَضَرُوهَا كَالْمُعَلَّقَةِ Okay, so don't incline in such a way so that you leave her as if a mu'allaqa. A mu'allaqa is a woman who is stuck. But being stuck is not an objective legal status. It is an emotional status. So the question is, in what way would you be in a polygamous relationship? Allah said you can't achieve justice. You, you're not going to be achieve justice. But beware, be careful, because it is a problem if you leave one of the wives feeling kalmu'allaqa, feeling as if she is not really a wife. You are dealing with the subjectivities of the emotional state of a woman in this situation. Often the way we think about this, we think that what is needed is formal justice. But you could have formal justice and she could still feel like she is kalmu'allaq. If you are excited about one wife, but you're not very excited about another, do you think just by having marital relations with the wife you're not excited about, she's not going to feel like she's stuck? She's still going to feel like she's stuck. The way that men interpreting these ayat, they took ayat that are talking to you morality, and they solved the problem through positive laws, and said, okay, you know, so if you have conjugal relations with, with this woman, have conjugal relations with this woman. But that doesn't solve the mu'allaqa problem. If and that's part of the problem that I have with the Sauda report. Of course, we could say that perhaps Sauda didn't feel kal mu'allaqa because she, I mean, but the, I mean, there are, as I explained, I, I have other problems with that report. But anyway. Now, what, notice, وَإِن تُصْلِحُوا وَتَطَّقُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ كَانَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا Again, we often ignore these 
these the moral foundations that are mentioned at the end in the second half of the ayah wa in tuslihu wa tattaqu so your compass is to do good and not to transgress it's a it's a heavy moral question if she's coerced into a situation she's likely to feel kal muallaqa if she is forced into a situation where she feel she feels like she has no choices she's likely to feel kal muallaqa if she as often happens in our modern age if she has no real choices financially or she doesn't have a family or she can't go back to her family she's likely to feel kal muallaqa that would be upon if that's a risk that a husband is taking to teach the moral seriousness of the question i think it's imperative because you are it is not a matter of well i am giving you formal justice so just deal with it but it is you are dealing with the subjectivities of a human being and the 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 feeling of that human being whether they have whether they are treated fairly or treated in a way that is beautiful or that a way that doesn't involve transgressing upon their rights 